Three ways to help your kids become wealthy, coming up. Hi everyone, this is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy and on this channel we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now today I'm in Elysian Park overlooking downtown Los Angeles and I want to share with you my top three tips on how to make your kids wealthy. Tip number one is teach them about personal finance. Unfortunately in most educational systems they lack that. They don't teach you about personal finance. They don't teach you about budgeting. They don't teach you about banking. They don't teach you about investing, none of that. I had no clue when I got out of school, so I kind of had to figure things out. Even when I got out of college, I had no clue until I started studying economics and business and all this stuff. That gave me a little knowledge. And most of it, I had to learn it on my own. So it's gonna be like that for your kids. And unfortunately, with investing, a big component of it is compounding interest on your investments. So you really wanna start investing as young as you can. I remember I had this friend, Scott, that started investing when he was 15. He used to save all his money from mowing lawns, delivering newspapers, all this kind of stuff. And then when he turned 21, he bought his first house. And from then on, he's just grown exponentially. So time has a big, big impact on your investments. Um, if you haven't seen it already, watch my video on compound interest. That will really help drive the point home and you'll understand why it's so important. I know my friend Arthur, he has his kids read Warren Buffett's books and then they talk about them around the dinner table. I thought that was a really awesome idea. And it's a good thing to have your kids study something that's important or intellectual and have intellectual conversations with them. Start teaching them about the value of education and specifically personal finance. So again, teach them about personal finance. Not only have them read some books, but open them a bank account or a savings account. And banks offer special terms for kids. They don't charge you a bunch of fees and stuff. You can start having them deposit money into there for doing chores and things like that. Have them use an ATM. Teach them how to budget, how to manage their finances. That's really important. A big problem with some folks is they don't know how to budget, no matter how old they are. So they overspend on their credit cards, they buy expensive cars, they buy a lot of things they really can't afford. And unfortunately that keeps them poor the rest of their life. So think about personal finance education for your kids. Tip number two, teach your kids work ethic now we have a very comfortable life you know we have a lot of machines computers internet we have a lot of modern conveniences that do things for us so a lot of people when i'm hiring employees or i'm working with people they haven't really had that experience of having to do hard work so whenever things get a little stressful at work or when the workload goes up a little bit they they crack they oh this is too much i can't do this and i'm like wow that's nothing that's why a lot of times when you work with people that come from poorer countries, they have an edge over a lot of people in developed countries because they're used to doing hard work out in the sun, out in the humidity, in the fields or in the factories or whatever, Tw you know, 12, 16 hours. That's not a big deal. That's normal a lot of places. So these people have a really strong work ethic because they had to. They didn't work really hard. They couldn't buy food or pay the rent. Um, so a good thing is we have in, in industrialized countries, we have that advantage where we get to kind of chill out, but it's also a disadvantage specifically for kids. Since a lot of times we have all these labor laws against kids doing too much labor, they don't have to do too much. So they're not forced to have to struggle or to work hard. You don't have to necessarily put your kids in situations where they're going to be doing work that's bad for them. But work is good, it's a good thing. It's exercise, it teaches you responsibility, teaches you follow through, teaches you how to finish things, how to complete things. So give them assignments around the house. Hey, you know what? I want you to help me weed the garden today. Or hey, help me wash the car every week. And give them a schedule of tasks or chores that they have to do every week and then pay them for it. And then that way there's a reward for their behavior. You're giving them something in return. And they'll be like, okay, well, that's cool. I don't really want to wash the car, but I'm going to get $10 or I don't want to do the garden, but I'm going to get $20 or whatever the case might be. And take them to the bank, have them deposit that money into the bank and let them look at their bank account growing. That's a really, really good motivator. I mean, I don't know about you, but I like looking at my bank account and seeing the money growing up in there for my hard work. Kids are the same way. 
even though it might not be thousands of dollars remember they're kids they don't have any money so five ten dollars is a big deal when you see it going into 20 50 100 they're going to learn how to budget their money and spend it much more wisely remember when you take your kids to the store and you tell them okay grab a sweater or buy some toys or whatever it's not their money it's your money so they're not going to be real conscious about it they're just going to try to grab whatever they can as much as you allow them to you know they might go grab something for a hundred dollars you're like hey you know what johnny that's too much i want you to spend 20 bucks you know take it easier you got ten dollars to buy a toy or a sweater or whatever oh okay mom and then they get upset and they're like oh man they're only letting me spend twenty dollars well look at what happens when they have to spend their own money to buy those things take them to the store they are going to learn that natural process of budgeting they're going to say hey you know what i had to work the whole day in the sun for that money i don't think i want to blow it on a hundred dollar toy maybe i'll grab one for 20 bucks that's the natural process of learn learning budgeting those types of things are going to go on for the rest of their life so making them work to earn money is really important it also teaches them that they have to work you know we all have to work everybody works i'm here working after this i'm going to take off to the hospitals i'm going to go see some patients i mean work is good work is is not a bad thing i have some friends that are really wealthy and they don't have to work but they work because work gives people meaning if you don't have work you get sad you get depressed your health goes down you know the human body has to be used it has to be moved it's made the move so if you're just sitting on the couch all day watching netflix you know um, that's not good for you it's your general health is going to go down and it's not going to be real good for your psyche you're not going to feel real good about yourself you're not going to feel kind of like motivated and it's kind of a downward spiral the more you do the more you go down so you kind of want to get out of that even if you might be off work right now because of the coronavirus or you got laid off or whatever make a schedule for yourself go out you know see see people do activities clean the yard paint your house or whatever uh, that really helps keep you motivated now tip number three is keep your kids hungry now I don't mean <laughs> not to feed them of course not I mean instill drive in them set goals for them help them learn to set goals like you know what Johnny you're gonna do some work you're gonna earn ten dollars a week doing these chores and your goal is you're gonna buy this laptop or you're gonna buy this camera or you're gonna go on this trip with your friends to Disneyland and then that's gonna help keep them hungry and motivated a lot of us go to work every day because there's things we want to buy we want to consume we want to like buy a house buy a car go on a trip to Paris we want to go to Disneyland whatever the case might be so it's a motivator so give your kids that motivation if you're doing all the spending for them and you're making all the decisions from that for them you're taking away the hunger and the drive talk to your kids and have them set some goals write them down short-term goals long-term goals this is what I do this is what most adults that are successful and professional this is what they do goal setting is very very important if you're going to be professional you're going to run a company you know all these things it's essential you have to be organized so start at an early age start teaching your kids to set their own goals don't give them your goals of course you can give them some input but ask them what are your goals write them down every week short-term goals for the month or for the week or for the day you can even have them do it on a daily basis if you really want to take it to the next level because that's what I have to do that's what a lot of people that are really busy have to do to manage your time properly so they're going to learn time management and they're going to have something to work towards they're going to say you know what all right I worked this weekend cleaning the yard I made 20 bucks but I think I'm going to do some more I'm going to start painting the house I'm going to start you know cleaning the inside of the house every week I'm going to do a lot of these things I can get to my goal faster so then you're doing all these things you're helping improve budgeting you're helping improving drive you're helping improving their personal finance skills I mean there's just a lot of benefits to keeping kids busy now sometimes when I talk to parents they tell me oh but you know I don't want to do that to my kid I want to give them all the things I didn't have and I, I want them to be comfortable and I don't want to abuse them and all this you know that's that's not good that's not a good way to look at things you're going to make your kids really soft I hate to say the word but you know you don't want that man you want your kids to be tough you want them to learn to struggle to work to have ambition that's what's going to help them be more successful in life you're going to feel better knowing that they're out there contributing to society help making the world a better place being able to sustain themselves being able to explore the world and do things that maybe you couldn't do I know my parents are really happy when I talk to them about my trips and hey, I'm going out of town for three months or I'm gonna go out of town for a month to Africa or whatever I at first I feel used to feel kind of bad I used to think wow I'm traveling all over the world and of course I take my parents a lot of places they travel with me all the time 
But then one time my mom sat me down and she said, hey, you know what? No, man, I, I told her mom, I feel kind of bad because I'm leaving on this trip for two months. I really want you guys to both go, but they couldn't for some reason. They said, no, we're really proud of you. We're really happy knowing that you're out there uh, traveling the world and doing things and realizing your dreams. I get to live vicariously through you. So that's important. You know, you want to set that kind of standard. That motivated me. That made me think, wow, I'm going to work harder so I can travel more, so I can do more. Make my parents proud of me. All of us want to make our parents proud. We want to make ourselves proud, make our kids proud. So a lot of these things might actually be good for us adults also. All right. Thank you for listening. And if you have any comments, please question below. Thank you.